So why are we learning and teaching the Yeti language? Since Taino can't be reconstructed, wouldn't it make sense to go with the closest thing? According to phylogenetic linguistic data, the closest language to Taino was and is a Yeti. Why do I say is also? A, ver a variety of it is spoken by some 200,000 Garinagu, that is Garifuna people, and the Kalipona variety historically spoken by the Kalinago is in the process of being revitalized in Kalinago territory on Dominica. Since the last speaker died a little less than 100 years ago, it has been more comprehensively documented. So essentially, it is the last spoken indigenous Caribbean language. Also, it's hard not to admire and be impressed by the history of its speakers. The Kalinago and Garinagu both have a fierce track record in fighting against colonization. This is why the Garinagu were banished to Central America, where they number at around 600,000, many of whom live in the U.S., and the Kalinago to a reserve on Dominica, where they number at around 4,000. Also, like most of us from the Greater Antilles, most of the Garinagu and Kalinago are mixed to some degree, though the Garinagu are generally more African and the Kalinago are generally more indigenous Caribbean. Learning and speaking a Yeti doesn't negate our being Taino descendants either. A lot of the Taino likely spoke it too, and some words entered their vocabulary, including those of Carib origin. And of course, the two groups often mixed with each other, especially in Borique, now known as Puerto Rico. Our variety of a Yeti will make use of certain Taino pronunciations and words, what can be authenticated when cross-referenced with other closely related languages. For example, we'll use Mahisi for corn instead of the traditional Yeti pronunciation of Marisi. It should be noted that a Yeti has some loan words from the Carib language as well, but it still, however, is an Arawaka language, despite it formerly being called Island Carib and Black Carib. So at the end of the day, we're learning an Island Arawaka language that will be mostly understandable to our Garinagu and Kalinagu relatives, many of whom we live right next door to. So in a sense, we are learning Taino since Taino just means relatives. It's the same idea as in Jurassic Park, the actual scientific accuracy aside, of course, when they used the frog DNA to fill in the gap needed to bring back the dinosaurs. But our frog is a Yeti. Thanks to all for your support. Aho.